Welcome back people, we've got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. So I am fishing in the new lake that has dropped. As soon as this update came, I was here, I was live streaming it. Every time I do live streams, I always use face camera mic for videos like this. I just use the mic. It's a lot quicker for me to just hit that record button. That's how I get these really good clips. Now through this video, obviously you're going to see an insanely big Arapaima, but as well as that, We've got lots of different videos on this new lake, Amazonia Brazil Maze, or I said that wrong actually, Amazonia Maze Brazil. Yeah, I've um, shown hotspots of how to catch the unique Tahara, the shark hotspot, the Arapaima hotspot, and I've also shown videos of um, how and where to catch certain fish in this lake. Also doing all the new missions in this lake, we've completed all of those. All those missions you will find across the channel, it was actually pretty good because when this update dropped, there actually was five new missions. So um, I did have my work cut out a little bit, but I've been on the grind and I feel like in this place, I was grinding for sharks, but since they've done the nerf, it is a little bit slower catching sharks now. Um, but for the Arapaima though, on the other hand, you can still catch those insanely fast. And you can catch quite a few uniques and they do come in quite a big size as well. So I think my biggest is about three. I don't know if this is going to be my biggest or whether my biggest is 370. Actually, hold on, I can quickly check that right now. Okay, no, my biggest that I've caught of Unique Arapaima is 366 pound and a half, just over. But I haven't got a video of that, but I did manage to get a video of this. So this is a Unique Arapaima, 365 pounds. <laughs> Yeah, this was quite a fight. Obviously, I did make a bit of an edit into this video as well, just because it did take quite a long time to reel this one in. So instead of recording the whole thing, I think real time, it took me about 15, nearly 20 minutes to reel this in. But obviously, I trimmed the video down just so that way you don't have to watch me reel for ages. I don't know what's going on with this new reel mechanic stuff, um, with this update. I don't know, obviously it's probably because the fish are bigger, but one thing I've noticed is that the rod, and you can see the bars on the side there, they go up and down like crazy, and the rod just keeps on going into a bouncing mode, where it's bouncing up and down there, as you can see. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really like that, to be honest. It seems a little bit strange trying to reel like that, but then it is an absolute monster fish, so I kind of understand it. I don't know if it is a little bit buggy, or whether it's just that's the way it is, but... um. I'm hoping that does change, but if it doesn't, I still enjoy catching these. It's a good way to level up in this place. As I said, I was grinding for sharks, but the Arapaima seems to be the quickest way that I've noticed so far for me to level up. I was catching a lot of the small other fish, like I showed how to catch the unique peacock bass and also the unique orichin, orichino, orichono. <laughs> I can never pronounce it properly, but yeah, I've shown how to catch lots of different fish in this place, and obviously I've shown different hot spots and stuff, but I just wanted to get this one on there, just to, just to show you, it's a shame that I couldn't have shown you the 366 and a half, but this is still an absolute monster fish, I did actually do a video yesterday of catching a shark, and that was, um... 365 pound shark that I caught and funny enough today this one is a 365 arapaima so it's uh, strange how things work but yeah the number 365 seems to <laughs> seems to like me quite a bit they do give really good XP as well like you get 20,000 plus XP and I think the biggest that I've seen someone catch these at I think is around about 372 pounds I think that was the biggest that I've seen some so far but there might you might be able to get them bigger than that possibly I don't know but I'm happy to still catch a 365 pound that's an insane amount of cash that it gives you and some <laughs> really fast XP yeah this is probably my recommendation to level up like this um, using the cap and hook the hatch 14 slash 0 or 14 ot hook as some people call it but these cap and hooks work really well for the sharks and for the arapaima the orichino orichon orichon wow gosh Mi minnow that i'm using you can also catch these on lots of other baits i will show you my rod setup i'll also show you whereabouts i'm fishing but um i've caught these as unique on the archer minnow also the large minnow you can also catch them on huge cut bait you can catch them on liver, chicken liver, you can catch them on large liver. There's 
so many different baits you can catch these arapaima on. Even the large cut bait, I've used that as well. Um, what else have I tried? Uh, frogs, frogs work as well. Like there is a lot of different things that do work, but I feel like the, the, the large minnows and the archal minnow that I'm using right now, I feel like they're the ones that work the best in my opinion. But I do put other baits out there as well and I'm catching uniques on all the baits that I'm using, but probably two most recommended would be this bait here, the archer minnow, or the large minnow. That's that's probably your best bet. Also, just to mention now as well, we also have memberships. So if you want to support the channel that little bit more, click the link in the description below. I'll leave it there if you want to support the channel. If not, by clicking that subscribe button, sharing my content helps me grow as a content creator. So there it is, £365, seven, well, might as well say 365 and a half, but just over, a fraction over. Some seriously good cash and XP there. Wow, look at the size of this thing. Yeah, <laughs> I know I don't seem as hyped as what as what I should be, but that is just because in general I am doing a voiceover right now, because obviously I did have to edit the video. But um, yeah, I was quite hyped when I got it, just because not only it's a video for you guys to see, but <sighs> that's the fast way to level up. If I keep catching these unique, I don't even mind even if I'm only catching them at like three twenty. I, like, I'm catching them at like 320 ish pounds and, and that's still classed as unique so that's some serious money that you can still earn from from this but anyway I'm casting over there I will change it to the daytime and I will also show you on the map and I'll show you my rod setups of everything I'm using but just to cast to that spot right there I'm just going to show you guys so you can see it normally I cast anywhere between 80 foot to 86 foot that seems to work perfect I leave my bar, bar? I leave my boat wow parked up there and then I'll go over onto here this is where I stand on I put my boat over that way just so that way it's out of the way um, if we change to the daytime we've got 52,000 that's not too bad some good XP as well so this is whereabouts I am you guys probably will know this because I have shown it as a arapaima hotspot before there is different other um, spots for arapaima which I've showed those we do have, there is more than one place you can catch Arapaima. But this was where I caught mine. So over there, no, that one's the electric eel. So yeah, there, there it is. Unique Arapaima. So that one I've got marked down as 358. So as you can see, you can catch these as unique pretty quick. It doesn't take long to catch these, neither. You can catch them at a fast pace. Which, that's why I always show these videos. Because showing fast pace... Uh, catching fish is a good way to level up but also it's good fun as well it's nothing better than catching fish at a fast pace it makes your gaming experience so much more fun so I'm using the best bottom rod on the game you can also catch these on the float rods as well they do work you can also catch them on the hash 13 slash zero hook as well as the 14 hook both of those work been using normal minnows um, and as I said the archer minnow and plenty of other baits do work as well don't forget to share the content as well if you did enjoy it don't forget to drop a like if you're still enjoying fishing planet any comments leave in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you guys as quick as I possibly can hope you guys did enjoy this one we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games I am out